Okay, so I really want to talk about Knights of the Zodiac. I just watched the movie. It's on Amazon Prime for rental. Really worth it. It's, if you're a fan, <laughs> you might like it, you may not. It's a hit or miss, but it's actually, I think, in my opinion, one of the better anime movies to come out. We have Seiya, who is being played by the future Roano Zoro for the One Piece series, so this should be interesting. Nick Stalls is in this movie. I honestly have not seen him in anything in years, so I guess he's got his life back together. That's Sean Bean. Well, I guess we'll, we can expect what we can expect. It's Sean Bean, so you know where that's going to go. There's our reincarnation of <laughs> Athena. Where have I seen her before? Oh, wait, the new Jumanji movies. I think they did a really good job with the costuming because that really does look kind of accurate to what you could expect from the old anime, which wasn't as popular as its, like, actual counterpart, which was Dragon Ball Z, which it came out, I believe it was more introduced to the U.S. first and didn't become as popular. But bigger in South America. Now, I do have to say, the special effects are better than the special effects in the Flash movie, but they still look like, I would say, a Final Fantasy video game style. I mean, the armors really do look badass, but you can see clearly on the face that it's all CG. So there is that little bit of a drawback, but still better than Dragon Ball Evolution. But what isn't? All in all, I do have to say this movie is a lot better than expected and not as terrible as most people might think. I definitely say this is something I would say if you haven't seen the series, it's a fun movie. It even has Mark DeCasco, so definitely something I would recommend, you know, I haven't done one of these reviews in a while, but I have been missing this. So let me know if you like it, and I'll keep them coming.